nieces and nephews this is auntie netta and welcome to my channel you guys i had to come in here and talk to you guys for a few minutes now a lot has happened since we last talked and y'all <laughs> i got a lot of catching up to do think back virginia christmas 21 Y'all know we get together in my family over my mom's house and just kind of celebrate Christmas with friends and family. Yeah. Mm-hmm. My husband had to go somewhere with um, Chipmunk and Bud. So I took a ride. Well, I caught a ride with my niece because she lived close by me. So, yeah, we was headed home and... You know, you're on your side of the road. I mean, big old median strip. Like, three lanes both ways, okay? I look ahead and I say, Angelica, I said, see that food down there? Oh, Lord. I said, girl, get over. That thing was coming at us head on in the wrong lane, you guys. Head on, okay? Then, as we changed lanes to get out of in front of this oncoming car, it followed us into the next lane. I guess they, they call it tracking, you guys. All right. So, I said, get over. I said, you know what? Herb and turn. Because I saw it open. I said, turn. Go ahead and make a left. You guys, no sooner I said make a, told her to make a left, I looked to my right and I see the hood of this doggone car. Yes, Chad, that car then hit us. And then, I guess when we stopped spinning, because they say we spun around a couple of times. I was in the front passenger seat and my niece and um, nephew was in the back. And my, um, you know, and my niece's mom was the one driving. So, yeah. I jumps up because I jump out the car immediately because the dashboard starts smoking. I was like, Lord, this car about to catch on fire. Everybody trying to get themselves together, trying to figure out what's going on. Only thing I could think was get out of the car. Get out of the car, y'all. Look like this car about to catch on fire. So everybody jumped out. So for you, for you know it, I'm jumping. I'm looking for this food that hit us. Because you ain't got no business being, I'm assuming it was a drunk driver, allegedly, okay? That's what I'm assuming because it's 8.30 at night, and you coming down the wrong, not on the wrong lane, the wrong side of the street, you guys. When I say a uh, thick median, I'm talking about like a median like that. I don't know if y'all can see, but yeah, he was <laughs> way out of line, honey, way out of line. <laughs> so, um... Fast forward, you guys. All right. So when I'm trying to look, I'm like enraged, you know. I'm just like going off like, who hit this car? I could not see this car. I don't even know who hit us. Couldn't find. And one of the guys, I guess somebody stopped that was behind the um, people that was behind us. They um, stopped and see if we was okay. And he was like, ma'am, he, he was like, you know, calm down, calm down, calm down. I mean, I'm like, man. Cause how dare you? This is my family, you know. And well, that's you know, of course you think stuff like that. As soon as he said calm down, not to come, that pain hit me in my chest some kind of terrible. Only thing I knew to do was bend down, get on my knees. Y'all, I was face down in the median strip in the middle chair. <sighs> so I'm gonna show you the car the day of the accident. Yeah, you guys, you see those red slippers under the car? I had those on my feet, sitting in the front seat, passenger seat. Ain't that something? God is good, y'all. So we ended up um, being um, taken to the emergency room. Police came in there and said, you know, 
we tried to revive the guy with Narcan, so they had to rush him to the hospital, but Narcan didn't do it. I don't know what he was on, even if he was on anything, or it could be a medical emergency. I don't know, all right? But all I know, that police officer was not happy, okay? He was not happy. Um, so with that being said, I just knew someone right. You guys, I ended up have, um, had to leave the emergency room. They did x-rays, but you guys, x-rays didn't really didn't do nothing. So I had to go get an MRI. And the MRI showed that I had over 80% of my rotator cup torn. I'm not familiar with certain terms, but you guys, I had to get surgery. So of course, you know, by COVID being what it is, you know, <laughs> We in the emergency room. Where COVID was at? In the emergency room. So, yeah, a couple days after that, your girl, COVID. Mm hmm So, at some point, between the emergency room that night and me going to see someone about getting an MRI, yeah, that COVID child, I don't wish that on nobody. It took me three weeks to get over that. So in the mid in the meantime, I'm trying to get a date for my surgery. They tell me, oh, you can't get your surgery till March. March? The accident happened in December. I could not raise my hand, my arm over my head or nothing. I couldn't even use my left hand. It was horrible. Horrible. The feeling was like, if I had a heart attack, I'm thinking that's what it would feel like. But it was my shoulder. And to who? So I um end up getting um they telling me okay your surgery not until March. So after accident, your body kind of start healing, not necessarily healing in the right place, but my arm started healing. Yeah, I still can't raise my arm, but I want in as much pain. Then here come March come. You girl got to get surgery, so I start all over with the pain and surgery. Surgery went well. I mean. Hey, shout out to Dr. Um, Hatfield. But you guys, I had to heal all over again, therapy and everything. And you guys, to this point, I'm still in therapy. So, yeah, that's the story of where I've been. <laughs> yeah. So when y'all saw that DIY for Christmas, <laughs> that was it. <laughs> that was it. And I had more ideas or I had something else to tell you that Christmas morning, but I was doing so much. I said, you know what? I'm going to catch up on the day after Christmas. That didn't happen. I wanted to go to Bath and Body Works after Christmas sale. That didn't happen. New Year's clearance and stuff. That didn't happen. So not only had the shoulder issue, your girl scared to get COVID because remember, I got my grandbaby. All right? I have so many ideas that I want to share with you guys because yes, I am getting, um, back on YouTube. I don't know how much couponing I'm going to do and probably the majority of my videos won't be about couponing. It just could be DIYs or some I came up with or something I found in the store, some I found online. It could be anything and it could be some run deal and y'all better run because when I get it, I don't know how long it been out there before I got it, okay? So, you guys stay tuned with me and I'll thank my subscribers who still hung in there with me. I'm going to be doing something, and it's going to be soon. I'm almost finished um, getting my room together um, to, you know, do my videos in, and you know, just have my little queendom. I'm going to give y'all um, another, what I say, a decorating video. <laughs> so, yeah, y'all just stay tuned, and hey, Thanks for being there when I want them. Love you guys. So y'all like this video, subscribe, like, comment down the middle, and I will see you guys soon. Smooches! Love you.